Alright, now, where did that note I found uh, tell me to tell me to go? Where is it? Here we go. <laughs> yeah, just someone's looking for you in White Run, okay. I'm in White Run. I like the look with the with the gauntlets. Hmm. Hmm. I don't see anybody out of the ordinary. Maybe they'd be in the um, shiny trinkets. The 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 um. The end guy. Ah, hello, man. Yes. Mm, have this. Oh, thank you. Divines bless your kind heart. Sure. Can Need I make you do anything? Mm. I'm just, I'm just looking. I've never really looked at this for, um, for, for well. the beggar characters. Treat yourself and your kin to a choice cut of steak it's or a tender rack of ribs. I, I like how they actually like call stuff out. Like, okay, so you imagine, like the time scale on this game is so many. I don't know exactly what it is. It's so many more times the um, actual speed of time in the real world. Like you can you can imagine, right? That the size scale of the world is supposed to be scaled down by that same percentage. So there should be way more people and way more buildings and way more market stalls here, but it still does a pretty good job of feeling like a market with with the the people calling out their little little sales pitches. You know, it, it, I like it. I like Skyrim. I think it's I think it's good. All right, anybody in here? Didn't say White Run, right? Yeah. Hello. You're just Mikhail. Do I have a do I have a map marker for that? Out of curiosity. Just in White Run. Okay, cool. Good to know. Would be nice to not always be so thirsty. I mean, Fandal, so right there. Tonight, huh? Something upbeat? A bit <laughs> maybe? You know, hold up. There's this lovely Argonian ballad I've been studying. We've been down this road before, Mikhail. Save the sap and sadness for your lady friends. My patrons need life. Cheers. Charming name. All right, all right. Um, how about the gutter snipe? I think seven septims for Seagirt will do nicely, especially when they're in their cups. Well then, consider it done. Wait, why haven't I heard any of these songs, man? Those sound fun. There's only like five bard songs in this stinking game. Did I just just said I like? What's he doing? Is he picking up change off the floor? Malice is teaching me everything he knows about brewing. Hopefully, I could take over his position someday. Cool. I don't know who you are. Seriously. What might you be looking at? Oh, the fruit looks so good, so juicy. Yeah, there's nothing here, man. I already gave you money. I gave you gave you plenty of money for like small amount of food. Anybody up here? That's that guy. So he's not the one I'm looking for. Grab this. Tree got bigger again, it looks like. That's cool. Um, I mean, maybe they're up by the, the palace? Or in here, maybe? Like, this is a place somebody would look for me, right? Let's look around. Trying to do this without the quest marker. I'm gonna have to turn on the quest marker in a minute. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't see anybody here. All right, quest marker time. Cause I'm lazy. <laughs> they might just be wandering the streets too. Who freaking knows? Uh, that, that's the wrong button. <laughs> also, the God dang it! Open the map. Come on. <laughs> the drunken huntsman. 
Yeah. Oh, hey, wait, I forgot. There's another tavern, kind of, isn't there? Maybe I should check there. That one's a little more out of the way, anyway. Seems more like a more like a proper meeting place, right? And boom. I don't remember how this mod starts at all. I can't believe it's you. I was just asking around if anyone knew where I might find you. Yeah, I got a letter or whatever I decided it was last episode about that. Uh, you're looking for me? What are you talking about? My master and I recently arrived here in Skyrim from Cyrodiil. It's been a long journey, but he sent me to see if I could find you. I thought uh, I'd check the tavern and in here okay. the run first, and then set out for the other towns tomorrow. But fortunately, the gods favor me today, as you seem to have found me instead. He's heard of your escape from that awful dragon attack, and urgently needs to speak with you. I mean, you know nothing more than that. It's at the inn in Fulcry. Okay. Me him at your earliest convenience. You only There's um. Yeah, he gave me this note to give you. Uh, and thanks, man. Of his appreciation. There's more for him to hear about me than that. Good day, Jeez. I have another errand to run. No rest for the weary, as they say. Good day. All right, Patsy. Oh shit! He gave me 250 copper. Jesus Christ! All right. Um. Sure we can meet your hunting needs. No, you're fine. I'm I'm just here to I'm here looking for that guy. Um yeah, I'll go talk to a guy in Falkreath who's willing to just hand two hundred and fifty copper to some guy on the off chance he runs into me. Sh sure. Uh, not that I really need money, but like, Jesus Christ. And also I kinda need money a little bit, a tiny bit. More than I did before, because I spent a ton of it on my house and the rest of my estate. Alright. The inn, right? I need to come into town more often. Get to know the people. It's like, I don't really know them. And this is like the town where I've decided to make my home, right? See if this guy just pounces on me, too. Take a seat. Right over there. Alright, where is this guy? in, like, the room. Are you serious? Is he act is he not actually here? Said Falkreath, right? <laughs> okay. Okay. Thanks, Skyrim. Do I have a, do I have a quest marker for this one? Nope. Great. <sighs> yeah. Your roof's leaking. Or I am? Something's going on here. That's that's weird. I'll right, wait. An hour and see if he shows up. Maybe he's just out wandering. Yeah, I'm getting hungry. I might as well buy something while I'm here, right? That's on him. That's Delacourt. Dragonborn. Yeah, yeah, Dragonborn. Of course. Gimme. Like your outfit. Depends. Are you thirsty? Hungry? Uh, Both? Listen. Buy all of these too. Sure. Yeah, alright. Mm hmm. Alright, cool. How can I argue with that? How can you argue with me giving you money for basically everything in your inventory? I don't know. Didn't really expect you to though, honestly. Alright, let's have a have a little snack break. Bread and butter. Yeah. Where the hell is this guy? Keep waiting around. He might just be dead. It's possible that we can't do this quest. <laughs> Which would suck. <laughs> like, a lot. <laughs> and let's go walk around town and see if we can find this guy. Hey, there you are, man. Are you Marcus Janus? You wanted to see me about Helgen? Oh, bless the divines, you came! Well met, and welcome. We have much to discuss. Will you tell me, 
What happened at Helgen? I mean, it's been a long time. You could have found out. I guess you just want a first-hand account, though. Uh, you already know Helgen was attacked by a dragon. Have you seen one? Well, no, now that you mention it. You're lucky. Um, I doubt any civilians made it out of there alive. The place was laid to waste. Then it's as I feared. My brother and his it family are lost. Oh, I'm sorry, man. God damn it all. I'd hoped for better news. Even if they did survive the dragon attack, the bandits killed them for sure. Yes, I've heard the fort is full of them. But appearances can also be deceiving. If I'm right, these are no bandits at all. Really? I have it on good authority there is a man known only as Val inside the keep. Okay. He's the leader of a small group of mercenaries, for lack of a better term. I could probably think of a better term, their but you know. Their aim is to kill Thalmor wherever they're found. That they've come out of hiding okay. beyond the mysterious. They're insurrectionists. A resistance movement, if you will. Okay. And you know this insurrectionist. His name is Valerius Tiberius Artoria. All right, so an Imperial. We served for many years together in the Imperial Legion as captains under Titus Mede II during the Great War. Hmm. He was a good man in those days, an honorable man. Then the Aldmeri invaded and murdered his wife, son, and daughter in cold blood. Damn. <sighs> Tell me more. They marched them down the streets of the Imperial City and tortured them until they were dead. Right in front of the Imperial Palace itself. Yeah. They said, Let it be known that any family members of Imperial officers found anywhere else in the province would receive a similar fate. There were many such atrocities committed by those wretched maggots within those walls. And even more unspeakable tragedies in the rest of Cyrodiil. Mm-hmm. We were under orders to flee the city for Skyrim when they invaded. We left our people, our families, defenseless. Most <clears throat> did not survive. The few that did make it out of there were scattered as refugees throughout the rest of the province. The plan was to regroup here in Skyrim, rest and resupply our forces, and return to the Imperial City to retake it. That took almost a year. Surely you know the history. If not, this book will help you understand a little of what we went through. Yeah, I know the history better than most. That's a very similar story to what happened to um, to Johan's parents. Slightly different details, slightly different justification by the Thalmor for killing them, but yeah, pretty much, pretty much spot on. Uh, what happened to the city, in your words? When we finally returned to the city, there wasn't much left. Mm. We split our forces, and I led the charge from the southern waterfront district, while Valerius attacked from the west. March right down to the main gate and knock on the door, he said. <laughs> the man had guts, that's for sure. After we retook the city, he started to change. He knew his family was gone, but when he learned that they were tortured in the streets, he went mad and vowed to avenge their deaths. He started conducting covert operations that were unknown even to me, his closest friend. Probably didn't want to get you mixed up in it. most loyal men and began assassinating Aldmeri officers and diplomats, wherever he could find them. As long as he wasn't connecting it to the Empire, I'm fine with that, man. ...sent from our commanders. When they were caught, well, let's just say justice was swift. But the Aldmeri feared making a martyr out of him as they knew the people were aware of his family's torture and murder. So they obviously didn't execute him. No, but under pressure from the Thalmor, Titus locked him and his men away in the Imperial prison for the rest of their lives. But they got out. Soon after, I decided my service had come to its end and retired from the Legion. But you don't get to be a captain and not accumulate a few favors. Mm -hmm. So you helped him escape. Well, yes and no. I wasn't actually involved in the operation, but a young lieutenant who served under me was stationed there after I retired. And he found an ancient passage out of the prison that had long been forgotten about. We always heard the stories about it from ages And that's, the implication is that's the, 
but none of us believed they were true. The, the one that you and used to escape in Oblivion. But they were true. And Lieutenant Buckingsley Which is just a very cute detail. So, on a dark and stormy night, Buckingsley quietly slipped a key into Valerius's cell and created a diversion, which bought Val enough time to escape. So, what happened to him, and what about his men? They went straight away to Hammerfell to join the Red Guard Rebellion against the Aldmeri Dominion. See, Johan has thoughts about that. A secret brotherhood who called itself the Keepers of Hatu was formed after the signing of the Second Treaty of Stros Makai. Most people passed these rumors off as baseless gossip, but the name Hatu always had intrigued me. And um, why? Hatu was the mountain where the Red Guard hero Frandar Hunding and his sword singers made their final stand against the armies of Hera. Hmm. It was a bloody battle in their history. But their victory led them to a new land. They named yeah, Earth, I remember reading about that. Again, the modern day Red Guard Society. Here, I brought a few of my old books. See, I like this guy. My memory. He knows. He knows how to like study them. If you're interested in history, he he knows how to get my attention. Pleasure. Thanks. I certainly will. Where were we? Oh yes, the name is a metaphor, meant to imply a final stand. Yeah, I got that. Much the same as the one Frandar made at Hatu Mountain. Mm -hmm. It was also widely known that this brotherhood was made of all races, all united in a singular cause under the banner of the hammer and anvil. Hmm. Defeat the Thalmor, right? Yes, I see you've been listening. Not only defeat them, though, that would not be enough. But to cleanse Tamriel of the Thalmor and their racist Altmeri Dominion forever. Hmm. And I like that it's the Thalmor and not High Elves. The Thalmor and High Elves are not synonymous. I kind of agree with him. I don't know if we should go, like, full genocide on them. But, um, I agree. And, and like, I respect the Red Guards. Like, Johan respects the Red Guards a lot for uh, standing up and continuing to fight the Aldmeri Dominion. He doesn't like that the Red Guards seem to think themselves superior to the Imperials because... They're able to keep fighting when the Imperials just couldn't. Because, I mean, everybody's doing what they can to survive. But he respects them for continuing the fight. Uh, so what you what makes... Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Got tongue-tied for a second there. What makes you think Valerius is involved with this group? Yes, interesting, isn't it? I've heard the name Valerius Artoria associated with them on more than one occasion. Okay. First... Who better to lead such an organization than someone as skilled in warfare as he? I don't know. I passed through there, and those guys didn't seem very Who skilled. Who better to intimidate your enemy than a legend well-known as an assassin of their kind? Even if he were dead. Mm, true. And if he is still alive, and his men still serve with him, it seems logical that they would return to Skyrim along with the Thalmor. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. So, what do you want me to do? I need you to go try and talk to Valerius. Reason with him. Tell him Marcus Janus requests a meeting with him. Okay. Tell him I'll come to the fort alone. Present company excluded, of course. Okay. Give this ring to him. It was his wife's wedding band. Okay. If any of his men try to accost you, show mm. it to them and tell them it is a gesture of goodwill from me. They'll give you quarter if they know I sent you. Approach the guards and show them the ring. Or they'll so think Marcus I stole Janus it. <laughs> you to see Valerius and then I'm an assassin. On urgent business. All right, but like Show me them this note with my seal, but tell them it's for Valerius, his eyes only. Okay. Please return to me as soon as you can. I'll prepare to leave and be ready to go when you return. All right, Make sure. Christian one, and may fortune favor the foolish. Right back at you, man. Uh, yeah. I mean, I'm pretty associated with the Empire, so ho hopefully that doesn't cause a problem. I've also been pretty vocal about not really liking the Thalmor either, though, so... Again, again, hopefully everything works out here. What time is it? Because I, I, wait, I waited around and then walked around for quite a while. Oh, it's late. It's like 9.16. Um, so I'm gonna head home. Teleportation's already selected. 
and sleep through the night, and then tomorrow morning I will uh, teleport to Riverwood and then backtrack to Helgen from there. Looks like we're going the right way. How far out will we be at this point? Should be able to see it soon. <clears throat> been a while since I've been up this way. Right up that way, right? Unless I went the wrong way. No, I'm, 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 I'm right. Okay. Cool. I'm getting thirsty. But, um... Yeah, Helgen's right up ahead. Yep, there it is. What's left of it, anyway? Some random dudes up here. Probably hunters. Let's go see. Let's go talk to them. Try to grab these blue mountain flowers. Howdy. Need something? No, I'm just just okay. saying hi. Showing you there's there's pleasant I've people been and fishing in these parts on the road. Years. Yeah. Cool. Now I have played through Hug and Reborn before. Just FYI. Um, it's been, it, it was like the first published version, and if I'm not, if I'm not, uh, mistaken, mistaken is the word I was looking for, the mod author has upgraded a lot since then, um, that, that's me conjuring my armor, because I can't actually make myself conjure my armor, and I am a master conjurer Stone's after all. A pretty big place, but I didn't expect it to be that big. Yeah. Um, so there, there's going to be, there's going to be things about this mod that I don't know about now, so I'm, I'm, and I also don't remember it very well, so I'm very excited to get into this. Now, I do want to, my quest uh, marker does, or my, my journal entry does say to read this, so... Okay, so this is the one that the guy gave me. Okay, so if I had read that, I would have known what he wanted. Okay, that makes sense. Open that up. Because I can. Stop right there. Don't even think about moving. Hmm. You guys are... see my friends coming? They won't hesitate to kill you if you so much as breathe funny. You're more accommodating now, than the last group. Who are you? And what is the meaning of this intrusion? Quickly now, speak. <laughs> uh, easy now. I'm not here to start any trouble. Then you need to give me a reason why we shouldn't just kill you where you stand. Sweetie, I have, ur I have an urgent matter that I need to discuss with Valerius. I know he's here. Never heard of him. <laughs> You are mistaken. Sure. There's nobody by that name here. Now, be on your way. We don't want to hurt you. You wouldn't. It's from Marcus Janus. I must be given passage. Don't know him either. I'm beginning to run out of patience with you. Leave now. Come on. I know who you are, and you're no bandits. I don't know who you are, stranger, or what you want. But I advise you to choose your words very carefully from here on out. Uh, this is from Marcus. It's Val's wife's wedding ring. Let me see that. Hmm. Did you say Marcus Janus? From the war, Marcus Janus. Why didn't you say so? I did, dumbass. I don't have a letter from him, too. Valerius' eyes only. Very well. I will take you inside. But all of us have our eyes on you. <laughs> And if you try and start trouble, it will be the last trouble. Maybe if there's like a thousand of you, Follow that'll me. matter. You realize I killed a god the other day, right? Hi, right, guys. Get the feeling we're going to be good friends. Come on, let's go. Haven't cleaned up at all, I see. Good job. And now it is cool. You can come back to Helgen and you can putter around, but like. Who is this person and why have you brought them? You, you gonna tell him? Or should I do it? Barbus move. Come on. Get out of the nice man's way. I don't think he's very smart. <sighs> I 
Everybody, c come over here. Fandal, Barbus, Serana. God, God damn it. Come on. There we go. Idiots. He has an urgent message for you from Marcus Janus. He was alone, and I thought you were uh -huh. to him. Yeah. What? I don't think that guy's actually balding. I think he's just been dropped on his head or hit, hit in his head a few too many times. I thought the same thing, sir, but it's true. He showed me a letter to you with Marcus's seal. It's real, all right. And, sir, somehow Marcus has found Sabrina's wedding ring and sent it to you. Very well. We'll see about this. Okay. Paul Frank, you are dismissed. Bye. You resume your patrols. Yes, sir. I don't know who you are or why you're <laughs> here, so you'd better have some good answers to my question. Get a good look at you. May I see that ring? Of course, it's yours. So you were sent by Marcus Janus? Toss it to him. Where is he now? <sighs> He's in Falkreath, waiting for me to return with your answer. And do you know how he came into possession of this ring? He must have found it in the Imperial City after you imprisoned. I don't know. Yes, yes, I suppose that may have been possible, but I, this is all so overwhelming. I'm sorry for the loss of your family, truly. Thank you. I love them very deeply. Fandal, stop being. I nearly went mad after they were Fandal. murdered by those Altmarie dogs. I wanted nothing but vengeance. Every day of my life is burned with nothing but the desire to make them pay for their murders. Oh, well, expressive. Now, let's see this letter you brought. Calm down. Mm, yes. <laughs> Marcus Janus, it's certainly you, all right. But what do you want with me? Tell me, how has he found me here? Serana, what are you doing? Um, he heard a, about a, a bandit named Val and, and thought it might be you. Very clever, that one. Sure. Always was. Bandits. <laughs> it's not far from the truth, though. Fitting ruse is that's about what we've become. Yeah. Our lives in the shadows. I think I might have killed some of you one time. About like some caged skeever looking for his next piece of cheese. You're an honorable man, according to Marcus. He said you served with distinction in the war. Honor? Bah. Any honor I had died with the first outmarried diplomat I assassinated. I don't know about that. He's not the same man he knew. Hmm. And no doubt he's filled your head with tales of glory from the war. And stories. The keepers of Hatu. I'm afraid that man no longer exists. Yeah, it's a shame. This hatred. It's consumed me, taken my life. I suppose I would still be rotting down in that damn prison where I got from Marcus. Now I'm just rotting here instead. Alright, well. And rot is nonetheless still rot. The only difference, really, is where and how. At the very least, you can still do something from out here. Well, maybe Marcus can help. Maybe that's what he, why he wants to meet you. Why would he want to help me? After he sees what I've become, he'll leave soon enough. But go tell him I'll meet with him regardless. At least then we can okay. say our proper goodbyes to one another. Never got to do that before. Now, be gone. Please leave me in peace. Sure, man. Eh, don't freak out. I say that nobody ever even bats an eye. But, um... Bye. I like the story in this. The voice acting is fairly good all around, too. But I like the story in, in Hogan Reborn. I think it's some of the best. Of uh, Why are you here? Patrolling, I guess? Um, or he, he got teleported along by mistake. Um, I think it's some of the best in any mod I've ever played, honestly. Like, like years ago, at this point. What's his name? Mike? Mike Honcho, I think. Years ago, on my really terrible old blog, Don't Look For It, where I got started reviewing stuff... I wrote a review of this, and the guy actually saw the review somehow and and thanked me for it. And I've always, I don't know, I've always remembered that. I thought that was really cool. So, um, like, on top of me just thinking that this is a stellar mod. What the hell? What the hell is going on? Um, I've always, I've always kind of had a soft spot for it because of that too. Who are you guys? Vermina people? Dude, do you have any idea who you're messing with? This is hilarious. Come here. Hey, stop dodging. 
Jerk. Good job, Serana. Um, hit him while he's down. Hit him while he's down. Hit the Vermina devotee while he's down. Is that it? Are they dead? All right, I'm going to take his Tundra Cotton. Jesus Christ, man. Nobody died, did they? What are these guys doing here? Freaking assholes. Alright, well, as I was saying, yeah, I, I've always had a soft spot for it, for that reason. Um, I think I think what I told him is that it, I thought it was a story mod on par with something like Falscar, which was the new hotness at the time. And I mean, I meant it. I mean that. I think it's it's genuinely that good. Let me know if you need anything. So um. So I guess he was pretty appreciative. I've always remembered that. Right. Where is? There you go. It's good that the war is finally over. Hopefully, the people of Skyrim can resume their lives in peace. Yeah, sure. Uh, I talked to Val. He's agreed to meet with you. Excellent. Well done, my friend. I'm ready to go. But there's just one thing. I'm getting too old for fighting. Well, at least by myself, that is. I was okay. hoping that it wouldn't be too much of a burden on you to escort me to the keep. There's another 250 gold in it for you, if you will. Sure. Uh, no problem. Just stick close. I'm right behind you, but don't go too fast. Unlike you young ones, I'm not cut I should, up. I should have embarked anymore. Helgen when I was back there, shouldn't I? Oh well. One more walk back to it is fine. I'll deal. Let's go. And I uh, turn my eyes off before I go blind. What time is it? One o'clock. Yeah, we could probably get there. By one o'clock. I didn't even end up counseling you in. How are there two of you? Whatever. Screw off. Um. <laughs> and I've banished one to the void. Let's go. Uh, which, what's the fastest way there from here? And I guess I could have gone to Helgen from here too. It's not like that terribly far away. I could teleport home. And um, wait there for a minute, and he should catch up with me, right? So let's do that. Where the hell is Serana? Shouldn't she be here by now? Oh, well, whatever. Let's uh, let's quick save. I need to eat something too, so let's stop and do that real quick. I need to eat something other than um, apple cabbage soup to keep my varied diet going, because that actually gives me some pretty good bonuses. If I was a hunter, I'd hunt on the way here, too, but I'm not really. I don't really care. Is the guy coming? Told you to stick close, old man. Let's go. I'm assuming this is actually probably the way that, um... There she is. The mod expected you to come from since you were in Falkreath when you met with him the first time, which is why this doesn't have a gate on it anymore. But um, I didn't do that, so yeah. Everybody here, let's let's wait for the old man. Feindal was with him, so I'm assuming he's still alive. Yeah, and he left Feindal in the dust. Of course he did. Come on, you can do it. I believe in you. Dear God, <laughs> the nav meshing here is pretty bad. Yeah, uh, because it's not really meant... Like, you could come back here and explore. Where the hell is Feindal now? Like, look how they're, like, running on set paths. Because this place doesn't have standard nav meshing. Um, it has, like... Where was I even going there? I need to go through here. It has nav meshing along the paths that the game kind of expects you and the other characters to take during the dragon attack, right? So, like, you could come back here and explore. But it can be really weird for your um, your followers and stuff. We should be safe now that we're inside the walls though. So I can I could leave him to dawdle. Howdy. What was your name? Sienna? Thirsty again? Are you serious? 
drank a bunch of water. Seriously, where the hell is Fane now? And where's the old man? God, he's slow. He is old, though, so you know. <laughs> Look at him, zigzagging. Oh, it's so funny. Yeah, come on. Oh my god. But yeah, even without this mod, you can come back here. Is Fane all here now? Yeah, okay, yeah, he is right there. Hey, buddy. Valerius, I'm sure this is quite a shock. Terribly unexpected. I came here to check on my family, but it appears none of them survived. Then I realized you were here, so I decided it was in both our interests for two old friends to meet again. At last. Ah, your brother, yes. Marcus, I'm very sorry. Is that a character we could have, like, met during the the intro scene, I wonder now? Same here. I need to look into that. I don't remember the names of everybody in the game. Keepers of Hatu in Skyrim. Who would have ever dreamed of such a time? All right, Janice, what is it you really want? Don't forget, I know you, so out with it. Yes, you do know me, old friend, better than most. Very well. I aim to rebuild this town. Hey! Make her my home. Rebuild? Janice, I have no intention of helping you or anyone else rebuild a town. I'm here on other business. I mean... <laughs> yes, yes, I know, Valerius, but if what I propose is true, perhaps we can be... I'm right behind you. You're literally not. All I'm asking is that you hear me out. After that, if we're not in agreement, we can part ways and you'll likely never see me. But, Valerius, there's plenty of time to get to all that later. Right now, let's just catch up on old times. Well, you're in luck, Janice. Those bandits left some fresh wine down. Oh, here. so there were real bandits down here at one point. Okay. Yes, I could use a drink too, old friend. Let me say goodbye to my new friend, and I'll join you. I can't thank you enough for your help. Mm hmm As agreed, here is your compensation. Um, uh, th thank you, but you never mentioned you were rebuilding Helgen until now. Why? I apologize for that. I certainly wasn't intentionally keeping anything from you. I just wanted to meet with Valerius before I brought it up. But yes, I want to make Helgen my home. But she certainly has seen better days, that's for sure. It's an understatement. You know, I grew up just across the border in Cyrodiil. Yeah. And Helgen was always a place my family visited when I was a boy. I have many fond memories of those days. And now, with my brother and his family gone... Yeah, sorry about say that. he'd be happy that I settled here. All right. From what I could tell as we came in, it'll be a lot of work cleaning everything up. But nothing impossible. Then we can take a look at what's left of these buildings and begin rebuilding from there. Yeah. I'm sure there'll be plenty of work for you if you're interested. You know? Why don't you take a day and think about it? <laughs> That'll give Valerius and I some time to catch up and come up with a plan. Okay. Can you return to see us in a day or so? Um, yeah, sure. I'll be back in about a day. Thank you once again, friend. I'll see you then. Yeah. I um one hundred percent you're in one piece, so I trust your trip went smoothly. It's cool. And this this is also very cool. This is something that doesn't happen much in the game. Of course I have. You feel like I like I don't know if you can follow them down there. I'm not going to. I have no reason to in character. But um I, I don't know if you can follow them down there and hear their whole conversation. I bet you can though. Because this is the kind of mod that is. That's not something you see in the game. It makes you feel like these characters actually have lives. Feindal, what are you doing? Let's go. All right, I'm going to head outside. And just because the town's going to be changing a lot over the course of the mod, I'm going to head outside the gate here. And I'm going to make a mark. I have mark and recall. I could just use Mark and Recall, but I kind of want, like, a proper teleportation mark here, so, where, where, where is it? Have I, have I never put the actual marks of tele- yeah, okay. So I have, I don't remember what I have all these for, I think Beta is, um, oh god, Raven Rock, but I'm not sure. Um, so let's put Epsilon. Sure. And then let's head back home for the day. But, like, straight up, man. Like, 
Val's saying he... Like, he's saying rot's rot. He doesn't seem to want to rot. He, that's just where he's at, right? It, but rebuilding a town would certainly help shake some of that rot off. And, like, what, what a better way to help Skyrim just improve as a place than to restore a town. So I'm definitely in, 100%. But uh, if he wants a day with his friend before I give him my yes, I'll give him that for sure. <laughs>